Welcome to Third Eye Weekly. Joining us today is Andrew Shackman. He's the founder and CEO of Lean Path Inc., an organization dedicated to food waste prevention. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great. So let's first off um, talk a little bit about how you first became interested in the work of food waste prevention. So we actually started down this path because we saw an inefficiency. And this was 2004, and we saw that menu prices were growing at a slower rate than wholesale food prices. And we saw that food service operators were going to be squeezed in the middle of that. We said, that's going to be painful, and we could probably help. And at the time, we were blissfully ignorant of the economic, pardon me, the environmental implications of food waste. We understood the economics, but we had not come to terms with the social and environmental component of it. So initially it was very much about efficiency. And what we found, of course, was, you know, I mean, our jaws hit the floor as we got deeper into the issue and we realized that this topic, when we pushed on it, touched everything from climate to water to hunger. Uh, and it was, um, it was one of those moments where it was a really electric kind of um, sort of awareness that came to us around it. And said, All right, well, we understand why we're doing this. So how exactly does Lean Path help food service industries and restaurant owners target ways to reduce food waste? So we take the view that those things we measure, we manage. And if we aren't measuring something, we probably aren't managing. And historically, um, because, because measurement wasn't easy around food waste, very few people did it. And it, it was a very lightly managed part of, of the industry. And in fact, many operators had come to just accept and tolerate food waste as part of doing business, almost like an elephant standing in the middle of the kitchen. And so what we do at Lean Path is we bring tools to measure the waste using technology that makes it easy and feasible to do. So we have systems with scales uh, and cameras and touchscreen terminals before food waste is discarded, it's set on the scale, Someone answers a couple of questions about what it is, why they're throwing it away, snap a photo of the item, grab a weight, and then we know what it is, how much of it we have, what it's worth. In our, in our case, the technology we're using, we have something called Lean Path 360, which is a, um, imagine a scale with a camera on a boom above it, you've got a touch screen next to it, you have, a pl you have a pan of lasagna and you made too much of it. And if you're a big operator, maybe you made 15 pans of lasagna and you had three left over or four or five so you put that on the scale and you record the information about i have lasagna it's overproduced you get the weight you store it and show you the value so then what you do with that is the following number one you look at your production you look at your data and you might find that lasagna is the number one thing you wasted yesterday or last week so then you start a discussion around well, why did that happen and if this was a hotel and you were planning, how did we get the count down? Well, how would you say that the awareness of food waste changes in the industry has changed in the past couple of years? It's a great question. Um, because when we started, when you talked to people saying you worked on food waste, it was like, you know, the garage doors just rolled down. No one had any interest in talking to you. It was it was, you know, it was not an exciting thing to share with friends and family over the holidays. Um, but it's changed dramatically in the last five years. And I think what's driven that has been a few things. Number one, food prices went up. And when food prices go up, waste is more expensive. So people had a reason to care about it. Number two, the awareness of where we are with greenhouse gases and with climate change and just the absolutely urgent need for us as a global society to deal with this is, is I think, hopefully being felt broadly. And when you realize that 7% of global greenhouse gases come from wasted food, how can you not be working on this issue? So that has engaged regulators, put more legal structure around it, more non-governmental organizations working on it. So between financial reasons and environmental reasons coming to it. And then the third piece has been the focus on hunger. That I think we recognize that food insecurity is a huge issue and that we have more food than we need in the world to feed everyone. And it's a travesty that there are people who are hungry. And so you have those three things coming together um, and, and just a broad understanding of sustainability, uh, I think, a social responsibility that, that, that it all together. So it's changed completely in the last couple of years. 
So how is your company able to target both the large institutions as well as the smaller restaurants in order to save them food and money? So, so we started it with a focus that was very much on the bigger facilities, big hotels and casinos and uh, hospitals and colleges, and corporate dining facilities. And over time, what we recognized was that our tools, scales and cameras were great, but in the smaller facilities, they were just too much, uh, both too much space and too much cost. And so what we did is we moved to a model where we have a tablet solution, which we call LeanPath Zap. And it's just like LeanPath 360, which has the scales, except instead of having an integrated scale and camera, people have to just enter a weight, either off of a scale they already own or an estimate of the weight. And it allows us to go into much, much smaller places because it's just a tablet. And we can get it running on small seven inch tablets, which are you know, very, very affordable. There's no food service operation. You can't, you can't find the resources without a small tablet floating around to measure food waste. So we think the way we approach the problem to be able to make it bend the cost curve and make it more accessible to the whole market. So, what are some tips for how everyday people can help eliminate some of the food waste in the daily life? So everyday people, um, you, would, you guys and me, um, how can we reduce food waste? So I think, let's just start with awareness. We have to recognize that we are drivers in this equation. Every time I walk into the grocery store five minutes before closing and find a thought rattling around in my head that I should be able to buy everything, I need to stop myself and say, wait, the store can't have everything. Can't go in the prepared food section and expect to find 10 chickens that are just sitting there five minutes before closing for me. Similarly, when I look at the produce, I can't expect it to be perfect. I have to be prepared to take a nick off here or there or whatever, not worry about a blemish because my behavior is affecting that availability, that universal choice at the end of the day. The perfect produce is what's driving a lot of this. We have to start personally by just looking at ourselves and what do we really need? And are we in touch with that? And, and, and I think in many cases we've gotten far away from it. Well, that's all the questions we have today. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Sure. Great. Thanks for chatting with me, and I hope you have a great holiday.